let's talk a little bit about resolver so a resolver is basically a function or a method that resolves a type or a field in a schema we have already created a few resolvers here ideally resolvers should be kept in a separate file and the schema left for type definition so let's go ahead and move things around a little bit so we're gonna start by cutting all the resolvers from here and i'm gonna create a new file called resolvers.js i'm gonna paste this code here and since we're going to have multiple resolvers here i'm gonna rename this to resolvers with an s and since we want to use this resolver externally i'm gonna export them down here export default resolvers okay and we will import them here import resolvers from resolvers okay and to we'll pass this to the root value so now we're going to get our data from the database so we want to change this resolver person to get person which is a function which will get the data from a database so first of all I'm gonna rename this to get person and we're gonna use the ID to make the query and then we're gonna return a new person passing the ID and the person will be at this position in the database okay so now that we've created a resolver called get person we need to make sure that whatever we have here matches our schema so instead of having person here we're gonna have get person instead which is function takes in an ID of type ID and it returns a person okay now let's test this out in the browser so i'm just going to refresh this and if we go under our queries you can see that we have a person get person which takes in an id and returns a person go back here mutations we still have create person here so what we want to do right now is create a new person since we are not using a database yet everything we have done before is already lost so i'm gonna create this new person again oh sorry crypto is not defined i need to import this I need to copy this and import it in here okay let's try again okay so now we have a person created so now i want to make a query and let's see if we can get this person do that i'm gonna change this to query and what types of p query are we gonna do we're gonna do a get person and we're gonna pass in the id which is this id and we will return i'm gonna return an id and i'm also going to return the first name let's return the last name as well okay so our get person query works so now let's talk a little bit about scalar types and enumeration types in graphql scalar types are basic types that come with graphql like int which is just a regular number which we haven't used so far so we can we can add it here like we can have an age which is an integer but we have to pass it here as well in the input and we're gonna save this and we have to pass it to our resolvers just gonna have an age here and i'll return this dot age is equals to age okay so these are the types we have we have an integer which is just a regular number we have a float which are numbers with decimal places like maybe 3.6 we have an id which is a unique identifier in graphql and we have booleans true or false and we have strings which are which are lists of characters which we have already used here and then we have another type called enumeration types they're also known as enums so enumeration types are a special kind of scalar types restricted to a particular set of allowed values. Uh, this type allows us to create 
a new type with restricted values in it like for example gender which will look something like this in um, gender and all fields in an enum type are always uppercase so with gender we can have male or female so now we can change our gender to this save this so if we come back here let's go back to our history with the mutation when we're creating a person so now if i try to do this to add gender and i write male and I run this query it will give me an error like expected type gender found male did you mean the enum value male or female so now i can change this to male and i'm also going to return the gender here and it will work 